Hey, what is up you guys, Luke Wayne here, hope you guys are all having a fantastic day, and as always remember, high hopes and low expectations, especially for today. Uh, like the video, top me out in the YouTube algorithm, and subscribe to help me reach my subscriber goal of 2000 by the end of the year, that'd be greatly appreciated, but yeah, let's get down to news, this isn't going to get a lot of views, I know it's not a typical video on my channel, it's not talking about Gothamites, and it's just generally going to be more laid back, it's more of like, I just want to talk about this, I know I haven't made a video in like 10 days, Wanted to talk about this a week ago, but you know how to, you know how it is. Anyways, uh, yeah, it's just a laid back video. I just want to talk about the Toby Spider-Man thing. And if you're completely unaware of this, unaware of the situation, uh, let me just break it down for you. So, like, uh, like a year ago, when Phase Four was announced and planned out for Marvel, uh, we, it was already apparent that it was going to dive into the multiverse of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You know, with the TV shows and with the Thor and the, with the new Doctor Strange movie, the Doctor Strange movie being called Doctor Strange 2, Multiverse of Madness. And there were rumors of Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield, you know, the previous actors that played Spider-Man, to come back for, you know, the Tom Holland's third movie. But that's all there were. They were just rumors. And when Sam Raimi, the director of the original Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies, was hired as director for Doctor Strange 2 titled multiverse of madness what does that tell you it was it was a little funny you know it was a little suspicious or like why is this movie called multiverse of madness keep in mind at this point we already knew that marvel was looking forward into diving into the multiverse and we we knew that there were rumors of a live action spider-verse movie happening like there are every couple of years but like you know it's just old news and when this happened it was a little like what? Like, okay, that's just a funny coincidence. Why are they hiring Sam Raimi to do this? Okay, I guess it's just a coincidence. And needless to say, there were a lot of really funny memes on the r slash Raimi memes subreddit. It was pretty funny. And that was just all it was. It was just a joke. It was just, the, oh, watch, you watch, you know, Sam Raimi make Spider-Man 4 instead of Doctor Strange 2. Watch Tobey Maguire have an appearance. Like, I was hoping that we would see an appearance or a cameo of Tobey Maguire. Not a Spider-Man, just like a little cameo in the movie. But lately, it's actually become a lot more. And I must stress again, none of this stuff has actually been officially confirmed. But my god, we have a lot of rumors flying around about this. So I just thought I'd talk about this in the video. And I know I'm a little bit behind. This happened a week ago. But I just feel like I need to talk about it still. So, like, two weeks ago... um. For Spider-Man 3, Tom Holland's Spider-Man 3, sorry if my mic just, you know, did the thing there. It's a cheap mic, I'm sorry. Uh, but Jamie Foxx has been officially cast. Officially. This part is official. I, I'm sorry for saying it was confirmed. I lied. This part is official. Jamie Foxx has been cast as Electro. That was the person who was cast as Electro in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Alright, that that's a little suspicious, and it, of course, it's spoiler alert, I guess, minor spoiler alert for Far From Home, at the after, at, and the after credit scene, Jesus, I'm stuttering a lot, uh, J.K. Simmons was recast as J. Jonah Jameson, who also played J. Jo, uh, J.J. in the original Spider-Man movies, Tobey Maguire ones, so it's just... I don't know. It could just be. It could just be a coincidence. Jamie Foxx just would be Electra's nice little cameo Easter egg. It could just be a coincidence. Could it be a little nod? Doesn't actually mean that it's the same Electra from the Amazing Spider-Man 2. But of course, kind of spoiler alert for the Amazing Spider-Man 2. In the movie, he doesn't actually die. He just kind of like disintegrates, and that's a little theory that you know when he gets overcharged by the power cables, and then he kind of like poofs in midair. And there's been this little theory that maybe he just traveled across the multiverse. But regardless of all that. We have the same Electro, we have the same uh, JJ from the original Tobey Maguire movies, we have the same director of the movies directing a movie called Multiverse of Madness. Marvel has already stated that they're looking into the multiverse for Phase 4, and Tobey Maguire himself just a couple years ago said he would be happy to do another Spider-Man 4 or any other superhero movie as long as you like the script and he'd be willing to do it. By the way, sorry to butt in, but I just remembered a completely important detail. Jamie Foxx uh, tweeted, or not tweeted, I guess, it was on Instagram, a picture of a, a fan art of a live-action Spider-Verse, and then he took it down like a minute later, which is, I don't, I don't know, I'm just going to leave that little information out there, let you decide what that means. But it is interesting, when the story where I left off, that was it. Just rumors of, you know, maybe a possible live-action Spider-Verse movie. Probably won't happen, but we can help. And again, just for the sake of the video, I have to stress again, high hopes, low expectations. Just, I don't know, I'm not going to say it's probably not going to happen, because I personally think it's more likely than ever to happen. It has been more, ever since the cancellation of Spider-Man 4, I think this is the closest we've been to seeing Tobey Maguire back as Spider-Man. I will just leave it at that. Now, continuing, <laughs> it was just, it was just, you know, just typical rumors, and then Fandom Wire, out of nowhere, posted on Twitter, exclusive Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield in talks for Spider-Man 3, and then they were so confident in this, right under that, in case you don't know us, 
here are our past scoops that have been officially confirmed. And they just posted like, you know, 30 different things that have been in the past that have been officially confirmed. They're very confident about this. In the article, it says they have an anonymous and reliable source. And if I'm just being completely honest, personally, I find it hard to not believe them. I mean, they're putting their reputation on the line for this. They, you know, they're not like we got this covered. They typically have good scoops on like some, some other forms of journalism out there. And it just seems pretty reputable. Needless to say, Twitter has just been a storm in the past couple of weeks. Everyone's been talking about this. Is it real? Is it not? Is Spider-Man 4 going to happen? Is The Amazing Spider-Man 3 going to happen? Is it just going to be a crossover? Is it going to be an Easter egg in just a movie? We don't know. We don't know what it's going to be. Also, again, another piece of information I got. Sorry, I told you I'm all over the place today. But, uh... Doctor Strange is actually going to make an appearance in Spider-Man 3 that's also confirmed, same with Jamie Foxx's Electro, and he has, the only description we've been, we have been given of his role is that he's going to be a mentor to Peter, so I guess he's going to be like the new Tony Stark, I don't know what that means, but again, he's coming up with the movie, The Multiverse of Madness, which is coming out, I believe, late next year, like November next year, it's going to start filming within a month, and Sam Raimi is going to be filming this movie, is there going to be, I don't know, it's just basically just posing the question, just putting that, you know, information out there. What do you guys think of that? But continuing with the story, the rumors have been getting so bad that ET Canada asked Sony themselves. They went straight to the source and they're like, hey, can you confirm or deny these rumors about the Tom Holland and Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield crossing over? Can you confirm or deny the fact that you are trying to cast Andrew Garfield, Tom McGuire as Spider-Man and Spider-Man 3. And they've responded simply with, I'm not even kidding, this is their exact quote. They just simply responded with, those rumored castings are not confirmed. A representative of Sony said, those rumored castings are not confirmed. Well, no dip, Sherlock, yeah, they're not confirmed, we just asked you to confirm them. That, that, that isn't, that, he basically just pulled an FBI and, and went, I can't confirm or deny anything. Yeah, they're not confirmed. Can you confirm them? No. Did you deny them? They didn't deny it. They didn't say, we're not doing this. That's outrageous. Which is weird to me. They just give a very vague, well, that's not confirmed. Yeah, that's why I'm asking the question. They're not confirmed. Can you confirm or deny them? That's all he said. They didn't say anything else in the matter. And people have been taking this as, oh, I guess it's shot down. I don't think people are looking into this enough. They didn't confirm or deny it, which is weird to me but what do you guys think about that this is this is already long enough it's already at eight minutes i was gonna go on for um uh another like 12 minutes talking about spider-man that might be a separate video honestly just talking about if spider-man 4 did happen i mean would it be a time skip or not be a time skip actually i'm gonna ask you guys that right now if you watch this far in the video by the way please subscribe you enjoy my content but i just want to know you guys i want to know what you guys think do you think spider-man 4 if it did happen if theoretically we had another standalone term mcguire movie directed by sam raimi should it be a time skip or should it be like you know just two three four five years you know like just the other movies just be a few year time skip or should it be like real time like it's been 13 years since the last movie or no because you know, most of the cast has an age but that's a video for another time uh anyways thank you guys for watching i don't you know i'll just say this i don't if this does happen i doubt we're going to get spider-man 4 I think he's going to have an appearance in the new Spider-Man movie. I think he's going to be in Doctor Strange. If it even does happen, of course, it might not go through. The deal might not go through. Or maybe Sony just isn't looking to hire them at all. You know, again, for a third Spider-Man movie or their own standalone movies. I don't know. I think it's just unlikely, though. They're hiring J.K. Simmons. They're, they're hiring uh, Doctor Strange to come back after his movie called Multiverse Madness. They're hiring Sam Raimi to direct films. They're hiring Jamie Foxx back to the, as Electro. It just seems... It's just too much, too many coincidences, man, with all these rumors now by the fandom wire. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think this has a chance? Do you think it doesn't? Am I talking crazy? Did you enjoy this video? Uh, I, this is a longer than I like to make my videos, you know. It takes forever to edit and export on my Chromebook, so the longer I make it, the more pain I have to go through later editing this and uh, exporting this because my Chromebook is so slow. But thank you guys for watching this far. I appreciate the likes and subscriptions. 2,000 subscribers better than the year. Do you like this video? Just unfiltered talking or do you prefer my old older style videos better? Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Stay awesome, y'all, and peace.